cards. Death to the AI, part one in a series brought to you by the Archangels. <laughs> Power up with the God Armor. <laughs> You know what we should do? We should Power Ranger our aspects become one huge aspect. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in for that. Don't start. I want a lightsaber. <laughs> you are a lightsaber. You know oh, what? God. I got the Thor. The oh, Thor, big uh, bucket. You know. You've got to be shitting me. Oh, no. It's got a Thor hammer. That's right. You've seen it all. <laughs> yep. That's Don't hilarious. mess with me today. <laughs> Funny. Uh, so on a serious note, um, we're we're noticing an influx of AI, and and we know that it's programmable, it's intelligent, it can project itself, it can disguise itself, it can make itself look like things, almost like aliens using screen print, and um, it can be in the ethers, it can look like a guide. So there's a lot of like questions, and how do we stop this? <laughs> Is probably I've, the biggest one. I've just been given that uh, we have bases on Orion, the lands of Orion. I realize. Yeah, I am not surprised. Mm -hmm. well, I think everything leads to Orion, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, they Orion. I can't. Away. I can't see Orion. Would Orion control them? Would they, or, or would they be controlling Orion? That's a good point. That's the question. Yeah. Now, Are I they... heard this talk that the little gray aliens are machines. Mm. Okay. Somebody said it somewhere. They're almost like programmed. So, and they're kind is, of. Is that, the, is that the machine elves? They're called the... machine elves. They're part of run the matrix, don't they? Maybe. They're yeah. little, little grays. Mm. The little grays. Like the little grays. Mm hmm. So, like, this all gets me wondering here how much of these entities, our programs, our AI, are being manipulated by these ETs that we've been seizing lately. I think it's all coming to a head. I really do. I think it's all connected to these ETs and their programs. It's kind of like China making an artificial intelligence self-aware. Do you remember when we found that in one of our missions and we shut it down because it's yeah. the most dangerous thing ever? Self-aware AI. Well, but is or how about these dark ETs making programmable self-awares? You know, like, but yet they can control them. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How connected are we to the Matrix? That's, that's what I've always wondered. Hmm? The simulation. How, how much are they? Well, when who I talk, created the AI, who created the AI? I think it's the aliens. I think the aliens created mm. the AI, and yeah. they were using them to control everything. And so it's like, like it's like they're minions. You know what I mean? It's like instead of doing all their dirty work, they have these little programs. And so when I talk to Gaia about how how do we delete them she said you can't just delete them they're ai source and i'm like what like plugged in like we got to unplug them and she's like yeah and then of course i'm like well where do we go to unplug them and then that visual of the grand canyon came but i'm sure there's these other areas to go to to unplug but for sure mm -hmm. we need the earth alliance to like connect with right and yeah let's see where they bring us that's for sure I think we should just connect and see. You, you, you guys ready? Mm hmm All right, so we're, I think it's safe to call in the Octurians and the Syrians to assess us. And the Andromedans. And the Andromedans. <laughs> My favorite ones.
Um, so just so you know what I'm seeing is all of a sudden, like I just saw this like Stargate and, the, and there's these gods beings coming through the guardians, I think with the scepters and the planets on it. And so I just dove through the Stargate to see what it is. And I just see this, like this cool city uh, with this massive like fountain in the middle. And um, it looks like it's in the sky. It looks like it's in the sky, and it's almost like a god realm kind of a kind of a thing. So I think we're going to be taking counsel with the sky gods. Uh, I think we're going to see some things with the sky gods. Interestingly enough, um, about this. Uh, so just tuning in to the sky gods and. I'm just gonna have we're gonna have a meeting that what they're saying is the AI was put in to place like for the reptilians to sustain and like life extending their life because it's um they're collecting resources energy um bacterias that human produce uh that are are good for their systems um they why would they like bacterias there's good bacterias good organisms um fighting age disease that humans possess okay well that's kind of messed up these these take a lot of the good bacteria out of human and they harvest it and it is one of the reasons why our ages are not extended why we have less years because a lot of our good bacteria are harvested by these bots, these machines, to destroy them. The Antarctica one is one of the big um, the mega structures under the ice um, inside. They're showing me now almost like a um, elevator that goes down. It's uh, some kind of a base below this um, ice. And it's a super base. Um, there's all kinds of uh, this is what marantha was describing um almost like cyberotic um extraterrestrials they got tubes in them um they're running tests uh, it's, they're working on direct links how to extract this um energy transfer just to directly um, take rate from from us um, without having to be there uh, quantum retrievals um, they're testing on quantum retrieval harvesting um, they're using test subjects so they have all these different s science areas um, labs and then the computer genetics computer genetics um is that exactly cyborgs um much deeper um creating almost like androids that are people or 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 beings uh races the ETs, this is their makeup areas. This is where they make the, the dark ETs um, or the little grays. Um, they make them out of 
um, synthetics. So it is like synthetic material. They're not, they're complete AI interfaced part of this hive network. They are mind link to a server system and so are the AIs. It is deep. I'm, I have to stop tuning in because or I'll, they'll link into my mind. So I'm stopping to tune into the server system, but it's there. I'm blocking it with this crystal now. And it's back in the God realm. Back in the God realm. So we definitely have to destroy the interface there. Every, the majority of the T ETs here, uh, but few are fake. They're not even real. Um, the symbiotic experiments destroy it all. So we can go in with the Earth Alliance and we can destroy all of this, destroy the interface here. And then there is something on Orion to do after this and a few other mm -hmm. places where the Earth Alliance is going to Um, jump in on okay well that's pretty deep all right so we'll connect with the earth alliance con and the earth alliance okay so everything has been completely shielded so nobody could hear anything we're going to ask these gods before we open up our shields to talk to the earth alliance i'm going to ask these gods to um send a message to the Earth Alliance, and they will. So what has come out of this meeting of the gods and the, and the sky gods? Uh, let's come back to this moment. Now, we're just not going to talk anything about what our mission is. We're just going to open up comms, open up an area of our shields to the Earth Alliance. Uh, okay, so it's opening up a part of the shield to communication only for communication out to the Earth Alliance. And I definitely see Octurians, Palladians. And so just like letting you guys know we have a divine mission of the utmost importance here. Just to assemble the fleets, transmitting thoughts, encoded, encoded, encoded messages to the galactics, encoding the messages, sending it to them. So it's just wait for them to um, assemble and okay, deep connections happening now with the Earth Alliance. Okay, so we're gonna start boarding, connecting with our ships and we're going to go to the command centers of these ships and we're just going to connect heart energies with the Octurians, the Palladians, and Dramanans. And explain, listen, this is what is happening, and we need to stop it. They are aware of it already, and they will go in with us. They are ready. All right, so we're going to go. We're going to go to Antarctica. Yeah, David, yeah. Uh, just, be, just be careful. The AI can take your life force. You, you could die now. They, they, that's one of their weapons. They can actually draw your life force out of them, out of you. Yeah. Okay. Just well, be careful. We're going to go in ships, right? So we're going to go in ships. Yeah. Um. So let's not leave yeah, the ships. Fine. Let's not leave the ships themselves, because like, yeah. yeah. we're going to go in consciousness. Some of them will be consciousness ships, light ships, and stuff like that. So let's just control the ships and let's just go in to the areas because the gods already showed us where these areas are. So we're just going to basically it's like put painting a laser in a target. I, I think we just go in there and, and, and blow everything up, destroy everything, right? Hmm. Um, it sounds like we're going underwater. Oh yeah, because the base is underwater, that's right. All right, so our ships are flying underwater. Oh, they have a lot of defenses, but we're cloaking. There's an area, an entrance area that we're gonna go through. Um, it's some kind of a, an engine, maybe to a ship that's connected to this or something, I'm not sure. Wow, 
there's a whole interface. We're just ignoring that. It's just a whole computer system. Um, I think that is their, oh, this is their interface. Oh, we're going right after their interface. Okay. All right. All right, so we're gonna target all of our weapons. It's their interface is actually mm -hmm. under the water interesting, so we're just gonna we're gonna destroy this. We're going backwards. We're going backwards because we're destroying it. We're staying out of the explosion. We're in the water, it's blowing up. It's creating a ball, it's trying to defend itself. Um it's shooting weapons all at itself it's it's actually hurting itself we're out of the way we're not in harm's way i'm gonna call on the angels as well and all the beings they're already here anyways destroy this completely going over top i see this thing spinning it's like a um, some kind of a master chip of some kind spinning, reflect, reflecting light. Uh, it's the ultimate nano. All right, let's just go ahead and destroy this. Destroying it. I've been told it's it's a shame we didn't have time and we could get a virus into it. Just destroying yeah. this completely. Huh. Ain't gonna be able to do anything now. All right. Just set the intention to go back in time, create it, and then install it now. The virus. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Go back, create it, and then install oh, goosebumps. Install it now. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So um, we're going to call in all the ships now because um, we're we're about to go into a major attack at the moment. destroying them all this is a kill a kill mission just killing everything they're not even real they're they're android synthetic machines <clears throat> okay we figure out a way to blow up this whole structure somewhere um, I'm just going to ask um, the Syrian ships to put detonations everywhere around here. And release their connection. Just unplug them, their connection to any human interface that they're trying to connect to. Unplug it. Destroy their harvesting program. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> Go into the future where it's complete and done. Shrink that timeline down into a, a source, the fractal, and then install that now. And then that part's done. I'm doing it. I just can't see. So. You could go back in time, see how they created all this stuff. I'm looking at it, actually. <laughs> go back in time, yeah. See how this they created it all. Ago. Undo it. Mm. I've been told that I've got to meet one and let them take me life force. And as they're taking me life force, just give them the, the, the uh, virus and it'll go through all the system. There you go. Okay. So they literally had a divine spark inside of a symbiotic thing. And it was telling me that, Hey, I'm a real, I'm real. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. And I, I realized that it wasn't 
it was a divine spark they took from they took somebody's soul basically and so i just took it out destroyed the the kid and i gave the spark back to god and who it belongs to because i don't care okay. they, they yeah. stole somebody's spark it was not cool so we just freed the soul which was more important to do than anything more than one of these things I'm mean, just releasing all the souls I think they're soul harvesting yeah sure. I, I, I think I think this energy is actually supplying that that universe these were chan yeah. these, these were using this energy for something else not just around here holy crap um, that's what we spoke of we said that they're is... their own universe remember a lot of so... souls here guys it is a continuous stream of souls going to source okay. right now. So set the intention to fractal ourselves into as many as there are, or we can divide into four court in quarters and and divide each of us into however many there are in that quarter of people, and all of us can work on them. Divide us, and each one can work on every single one of those people at the same time. Well, we're releasing them all right now. That's what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. So you've you've got them all. Yeah. We're seeing. Okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Okay. Uh -huh. I misunderstood. But yeah, sure. We want to fractal ourselves. We just don't want to be captured either. It's fractals in this kind of environment. Oh my God. This is weird. This, there's a soul harvesting program going on here mm -hmm. so that they can feel real. It's, it is messed up guys. This is messed up. Oh crap. Okay. Uh, Dave, I've managed to get some in time, and the beings that created them had a off button, like a data that uh, would, it's like a virus, in case he overrun the show, he had a, a, a backup, and I, all I need to do is meet one, uh, last time I nearly got killed meeting one. Well, they're all on this base, they're everywhere. Hmm. We're destroying them okay. right now. So if you want to just go ahead. The thing is, any that aren't in this space, it'll go to the others as well. Yeah. Well, certainly. It, it, they're like an hive. They, yeah, they, they are like a hive. This is the, and this is the main interface. This is why we're here. To destroy it. But certainly um, send the off kill switch to the this is intended for um for for some kind of a uh one of the ships to send this in through okay all right i'll find I'll, i'm looking i'm on the base this is connected to the moon, Phil. What, mm. what was going on on the moon there in that technology? Why is this connected to the moon? Uh, it, on the moon, it was, uh, it was a building. It was a, a, like a reincarnation trap. So a soul uh, trap. This is what the soul trap is. They're harvesting mm. these souls. We got to destroy that, man. We got to destroy that. Mm. We, I was told we can't destroy. Well, we can't destroy the moon yet because his souls stuck there. Well, we got it. Well, we're but letting we them are, out. We, right? we, we're letting them out. We're yeah, letting all these souls. Yeah. Out. We we've stopped any getting back going back in now. Okay. So once you die, you go back to source now. So then that means that somewhere on the moon here, there mm. you'll be you'll be able to send the kill interface. Yeah. There's a big uh, 
There's a big building on the. Okay. Well, I'm just like looking at, there's still like lots going on here. Um, Can I go on the main then? Okay. Computer genetics dismantlement. This is uh, the part of the lab where all these like gray ETs are. They're not real guys. They're not real. They're synthetic computers. And so we're going to disable them now. We're going to kill this project. We're going to delete this project right here. Um, computer genetics where they're synthetic um, non-living machines. We're just going to go ahead and, and destroy them. We're going to destroy them all now. Now. Okay, that's. And the thought behind it, the origin and the thought behind it. Where did that thought come from that created it? It's the story that. It's, yeah. It's the harvest, it's all part of the harvesting from these dark ETs so they can live longer. Right. I think I'm going all the way back. Yeah. Like I'm tracing it through. Timelines just all the way back. Oh, well, yeah. Back. This is like Anunnaki. This is Anunnaki yeah. origins and stuff like that. It's all related. It's all related. We're, we overthrew the Anunnaki order mm -hmm. of Nibiru just the other day. Yep. And now yep. we're now this is like the com third mission to complete all of this. And it's all tied right. into the AI, the dark reptilians, and the Anunnaki. Um, and these hybrid, these, they're not even hybrids. They're, um, computer engine and computer genetics they're not even <laughs> there's system they're not even there's no and they're harvesting souls so they can feel real it's just it's so messed up it is yeah. so messed up i won't be surprised if it's also trying to it was trying to combine that arc um conscious with our, our human conscious no likely that would have messed us up So that's deleted. It's, they're taking something. Um, not the the galactic fleets are taking something out of here. What is it? Um, what are these turbine things? They're just collecting all these things. Some kind of ships. Oh, they're going to destroy them. These are the ships, uh, the the little ships. They're little ships for these little gray ATs. Um, they're just destroying them. They're collecting them to destroy them. Okay, makes sense. All right. Shall I go on the moon now, then? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm merging with my... My ascended master being an uh, aspect. I'll come with you. I think oh. the, I think the Syrians got yeah. Antarctica. I think the Antarctica part of this mission is done. It's like blown up, and all of the they they yeah they got there's a few ones that they got in handcuffs and well they're like laser cuffs whatever they are. Uh, okay, anyways, I think we're good here in Antarctica. Okay, so that part is complete. So I'm just gonna follow you back onto the moon just to make sure you got back up. Mm -hmm. I've got the uh, Saka crystal. It should be the off button. But I've got a confront one. They look like ghouls, but the, it's just a, it's just, a, it's not real if you get what I mean. It's just yeah. that we see them as that. Yeah, and uh, my ascended master will sort them. Yeah, does he have like a like a, a weapon in his hand? It's kind of like a, a spear with like a light. Tip? His hands are his hands are weapons. <laughs> okay. He emits light from his hands. Oh, sounds far fetched, but when you see it. You see it well.
I can see when I got red eyes. Not confront. It's actually running. It's actually trying to escape. It must. It must already know what's happening. Yeah, of course they know what's happening. It's a collective, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, there's jamming yeah. in Tim. Not gonna be easy this. <laughs> we just I'm just, we're just chasing him now. We need to corner him. Uh, he's got back up. <laughs> it's a, yeah, okay. I don't wanna be injured again. Just ask the fleet to put it into him. I'm 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 just letting him take me. Yeah, so he's drawing me life force. And the the data's and the crystal is now being absorbed into him. And it's it's gone in and we're now defending ourselves from the from me drawing me life force. Okay, pull yourself out. Yeah. Call back all your light and then shoot away. It just reminds me of Terminator. Mm -hmm. We just disintegrated him. Yeah. We the cover the uh he's now just an AI. It's like a plasma. I don't it doesn't even look physical. It looks like a spiritual AI. Well there are spiritual AIs, that's the thing. Yeah. But they're not spiritual, they're just it's like it's it's like organic synthetic that is like non physical yeah. in a way, you know. My aspects turned him off. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what will happen with this now. Well, only good things are going to happen. Now, um, what about the Orion? You want to go to Orion to finish this off? Or, or do you want to? This might be good. I think this is probably good. I think this is kind of like mission complete for tonight. But if you wanted to, yeah. we, can, we can go check it out. But or we should just maybe just like while everybody's okay, we just kind of come back to the ourselves. You know what I mean? And see what happens. Yeah, see, let's just see, see what, what happens. See what this does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. we'll call back our consciousness and. Can Can you also check that magnetic field too, around our mm. planet? Because I went into that. Remember, just have a look and see if that's clear. No, it doesn't look like it's clear. Um, so let's just intend to bring in the source codes and send it through the Earth's magnetosphere. Of course they were using this because I was using the magnetosphere to take out all the dark source. So then they yeah. came in here to like mess with it so that it stopped my clearing out the dark source out of the planet. Mm -hmm. Okay, clearing it out. It's like a molten kind of like a... Uh, they they put a uh, almost like a plasmic field just deleting it there we go the light's opening up now that's uh, that's a big difference because that actually affects with so, people connecting with source it really does it's clearing this out so it's, some it, some it's actually happening to the building we're in oh yeah like some it's happening with the AI I think I think the souls are being released from the yeah. from the moon now oh good going back to source okay I'm oh. almost done clearing the plasma debris on the magnetosphere aha everything is bright again look at that 
Good one, Maratha. So good. Uh, I think we should. We're going to take this building out on the main. We might as well. It's like a plasma, it's like, it's like a plasma building. Yeah, sure. The magnetosphere is good. Well, now I, we got I think ev super. I actually think everything. I think it's the old building's plasma. The AI's plasma. Yeah. Weird, though. So we're going to take it. Explode it. Well, they've been doing this for a long time. And you know who one of the souls was? Is one of the uh, mm -hmm. one of the ancient druid mothers that uh, came out of there. She just she just came up mm -hmm. in this diamond light, and I'm like, "Who are you?" And she goes, "I'm one of the druid mothers. Uh, thanks for releasing me." Wow. So they've been harvesting these souls for a long time. Was she? Was she? What? She might have been one of the rest ground crew from previous. Yeah. Well, they used to do. They used to do. They used to do resets, and people got stuck in it again. Yeah. And then the the mind got deleted, and then they carried on going round and round. Uh, to, to energy feeders, but then they used to get put them into a life, uh, to make them lower vibration again, and then go back in, and then harvest the energy again. Yeah. Yeah. This is a yeah. this is a way deeper than we thought. This is this is this yeah. is brutal. What's been happening here? Like, yeah. like this is like all of these levels that we've had to clear, and then finally we get to these aliens, and finally we get to the Nibiru, and then finally we get like this answers so many questions, and no wonder this planet was screwed. Like, no wonder everybody was like, this is yeah. this is a very big orchestration. Of, of keeping everybody trapped and the souls trapped and not mm -hmm. only that not only are they harvesting the physical bodies and the um and the good bacterias out of humans but, but and what they were about to do would have been catastrophic we would have been screwed we would have been literally they just would have been taking and taking and taking forever and harvesting the yeah. souls for their for their own f tricking tricking the soul using the soul's energy mm. to give them a source like feeling but mm. it's not their soul mm. it is so messed up what they were doing there and what, what would have happened they would have been given their life what happened how negative their life was and then they would have had a choice to go back to earth and they think they're going back to earth to be it to do inner work Really, they're just going round and round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, round and round. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. uh, yeah, I think we were nearly having a reset now. Actually, I think we could have been trapped in there because once you see, if you luckily, I was told about the like, the fake pulse light, but the last re last time we tried to do this, we weren't, and that's why we had a lot of ascended masters stuck in the uh, in the uh, soul trap. So, yeah. yeah, that's what that's why I'm a walking <laughs> deep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow, oh. what a go uh... star, go star, go star, go star, go star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that was shiny for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. awesome, done. So good, so good. Awesome. Look. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, I've got to move my bottom because I'm working shortly. Um, so I need to go and have you know ah. all the rest of it. So I've got well, Caroline go. and I are on shortly, so yeah, some work to do. All right. So thank well, you. Thank you, Maria. Wow. Nice to meet you, fourth. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you all. I, I'm at work now still. Oh, yeah. Are you really? Are you still at work? Oh my god. Yeah. 
That's oh you get about you get my own video if it wouldn't work. Right, right. Crazy. Yeah. Are you go, are you going home soon? I might stay another couple of hours to leave about three. Oh. Uh, and then come back at seven. Oh my god. Yeah. Little mission no, break. I gotta do it. Yeah, mission break. Oh, yeah, I'm not human. I, I don't need sleep. <laughs> We've heard. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's all you with the good Phil, good Phil. We need need another one. So yeah. It's good. <laughs> well, that's incredible. Yeah, that, yeah. It, it's funny, it was only two, three weeks ago I took took AI out out one of the AIs. I mean, I was told they was merging with a person that's completely blocked and he ended up on the moon. I ended up getting me en energy. I didn't I had to call in uh, my aspect because I, I couldn't handle it. And uh, I got to, I got told off for, for not bringing my team in and not telling them what I was doing. <laughs> Just yeah, doing my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I didn't I, I didn't expect to go there. I, I thought I was just merging with a uh, someone I know, uh, you know, like possession, but allowed, yeah. you know, get, giving me permission. And they ended up uh, they were feeding an energy to a twin. It was a twin on the moon. But it was a like a an AI twin that they'd created from birth to draw yeah. draw the energy out. And that was quite uh, crazy. It was all like dial, you know. It was like the Matrix where it was all wires at the back, and then there was yeah, a I've seen those where you unplug them. I've seen yeah, those was ghoulish, a ghoulish, mm. a ghoulish be being, and it started drawing me energy out. Wow! So uh, I had to call in out then. That's why I merged with him tonight because, uh, or today, because he sorted one out last time. So I know he can handle. <laughs> I, I can't. Yeah, I don't want my life force going. No, your body breakdowns. Not mm. good. Good. Yeah. Okay. I honestly, I've got to go. I'm going to run out of time. Mm. So thank okay. you for allowing us in to do that. Yeah, great it's work, wonderful. everybody. Okay. Nice job. Right, mm. See you guys later, I guess. Thank you. I'll talk to you later, Elaine. See ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.